Hey guys, thanks for joining me at the Stop headquarters. Today, we're looking at the Godzilla of climate change, CO2 emissions. We've all heard this familiar line, right? Get out of the shower! You're using all the hot water! And I thought, what's the big deal with hot water? Wow! Water is heated by burning coal, oil, and gas, causing the earth to heat up. But the good news is that heating water in homes and commercial buildings is one of the biggest untapped opportunities to slash carbon emissions. So there, less hot water does make a difference. Easy! I can do that. How do I do that? Cold showers, I think? So for inspiration, I've brought on a cold water freak, wild thing herself, Leah Scott. Hi Matt, I'm here in the beautiful snowy mountain rivers. Oh, did you fall in? No, I plunge in ice water. I also pike through the snow on my shorts because it makes me feel so good physically and mentally. It's scientifically proven, you know, it makes us feel calm and happy and helps us deal with anxiety and depression. So there, it's science. Cold water is good for your mental health. I've seen it on TikTok, people plunging into ice bars and that I can accept. But tell me, who started this? Some guy was just in a particularly bad mood and he's like, oh no, I'll go for a nice swim in freezing cold water. All I need is an axe to literally break the ice. I'll, just, I'll put a beanie on. That'll make me nice and warm. This is a technique that is centuries old and the modern day development by Wim Hof, who I've trained with and I work with. It speeds up our metabolism, but decreases stress. So it builds resilience for things like school exams. Oh, Leah, I wish I could, but uh, I have that condition. What condition, Matt? Condition where I don't want to take a cold shower. I would like everyone to take a cold shower, but for you, Matt, an ice bar. Two minutes tops. That's all you need. We don't want you turning into an ice block. No one wants to see that, Leah. Great, now I have the image in my head. Cold exposure should be practiced gradually. You can start by turning the warm shower cold, for 15 seconds, or skip the warm shower and go straight into it. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. I'll try the cold shower of 15 seconds thing. <laughs> Why would anyone do this to themselves? Actually, it's, it's totally fine. Every minute you spend in the shower is 10 to 20 litres of water. Plus, in a family home, heating water is 25% of the total energy used. Well, that's pretty greedy considering everything else that pulls power. I mean, my fridge runs literally all day. My PC and, in fact, everything in my room runs literally all day. And all of those things are equally important for survival, by the way. 20 liters every minute. That's a chilling thought. Thanks, Leah. Okay, guys, what are we doing? 15 seconds of cold at the beginning or end of a shower. One cold shower once a week. Tell your friends or post your poll of progress. Just don't, no new people, okay? I'm looking at you, you. Stop, no. No nude people. And don't forget to use the hashtag Stop2030 and chilling for the climate.